Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your boy A. Lynn and we back today with another video, man. Yo, so look, I'm back today, first cut. It's not first cut, it's been like a week, but you know, it's... no more hats, man, until um the next video. The next video is going to be a very special video. I don't know if it's the next one or the one after. I have some Air Force One, but they're not any regular Air Force One. Y'all going to see that um, coming up this week. But today we are back with another shoe review and unboxing. But if you're new to the channel, go down and hit that subscribe button for your boy. Um, I'm bringing reviews, tips, anything you guys want to see, just drop it down in the comments down below and I'll get to it, man. I personally get a lot of sneakers, so almost every release that comes out, I get my hands on. And then I'm just going to keep bringing these reviews to y'all because, you know, I'm just going to let you guys know if... I mess with the shoe or not, like how's the quality. Um, I like to give a little bit of background, sizing, everything. So, without further ado, um, let's hop into today's unboxing. Boom! So today, as you can see, we have a dealer's box. Uh, you can see by the logo. And it's a big box, man, it's a big box. This got here, I think, last week. And I just haven't had time to film the review. So here I am today bringing it to you guys. Um, I just cleared up my camera. Now it has memory. So, I mean, I'm, I'm talking too much, getting you guys off track. But this shoe right here first came out in All-Star Weekend. All-Star Weekend in Chicago, where Kanye is from. He dropped the Quantum, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, It was the Adidas basketball Yeezy shoe. So when this shoe first surfaced, right? When this shoe first surfaced, now let's just let's just open the box first and then I'll get into it. Boom! As you can see, quantum. So big. And we always toss the box back there. Big. All right, man. Here we are. This way. This way. Yeah, this way. Quantum Adidas size nine. Easy quantums. All right, so this is the barium, I think barium, barium colorway. Um, it's a, I guess like a mineral, because I guess that's all Yeezys are named after, right? They have the sulfur, the clay. I mean, that's not really, really. but yeah, man. Um, these came out. We first saw them All Star Weekend of. You know chicago 2020 and they released alongside the fear of god so the background of this shoe is that yeezy drove a truck around well not yeezy but the yeezy brand drove a truck around with the quantums in you know in the truck and they was like give me your fear of god and i'll give you these quantums and at first you know when i saw these i was like damn they're actually kind of cool you feel me because Yeezy hasn't released like a mid top to high top Yeezy since the 750s and you know they did it with these so that was just the background of the first surfacing of the shoe now let's hop into how release day went so release day I believe these released on Yeezy supply the like couple days before and I wasn't able to get my hands on them and then um, a couple of days later, it was on Adidas. I think it was on a Friday. Adidas had done the launch. You know, Adidas, the splash page. Um, if you guys want to see me or you need any hints or tips on common sneakers, just let me know. Um, I could make a video on helping you guys out on any particular release. Just let me know. And, you know, I'll get that out to you guys. But on release day for these, that day I had work. So I work at a accounting firm. So I was in the office. You know, doing my work, I have pull up different tabs in the background and I'm and I'm just waiting in the splash room. And, you know, around like 12.30, I got through on one of them. So, you know, I click size nine, my profile, size nine, click, try to pay, I forgot what I paid, I think it was PayPal. I, I paid with PayPal, got through on the size nine, but it was like two hours I waited in the splash room. But, you know, I kept getting through on my other browsers. Like, you know, I run, Chrome, my, uh, Mozilla Firefox, and Internet Explorer. So I got through on the other ones, right? But my boss was like, yo, Andy, go pick up the food, man. I don't want any cold fried calamari. So I'm like, damn. 
So I'm like, all right, give me a second. I'm typing in information, payment decline, payment decline, payment decline. So after getting payment decline, after payment decline, I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to go get my fried calamari. So, you know, I go across the street, pizzeria, come back, right? I come back, drop the food off, and I run to the computer. I'm like, all right, let me see. And there were still like a couple of sizes left, but my dumb ass, I was greedy and I went to after size 12 instead of size like smaller sizes because size 12 was like super limited. And you know, I didn't end up getting multiple pairs, but you know, I got the size nine. I honestly don't know if this is a personal pair or am I going to like, you know, sell it. Um, I think the market is going for right now around four to $500. And you know it's not doing too bad. The retail, retail, so retail on these was 250. So after tax it came to 270-ish. But I mean that's enough talking. I already talked about the background, release day. Now let's get into the detail and unboxing of the shoe, man. So let's just open it. You know how you got slide. Bing. Bing. Ooh. Okay, these are looking. These are looking pretty sweet, man. Looking pretty sweet. So, you know, I'm gonna bring y'all to the B-roll now. Showed you guys the box, showed you guys different angles of the shoe. Didn't have an on feet because it's a size nine. If it's my size, I could fit the shoe. I'm gonna bring you guys an on feet. So I wear eight and a half to nine. Sometimes, sometimes some shoes I fit nine and a half. Um, eight and a half is a little too tight sometimes. But so breakdown of the shoe. So the biggest part is always the boost. So they have the boost in the um, midsole. Super comfortable. I think it's still one of the best technologies for, you know, midsole technologies to this day. And then the outsole kind of reminds me of the James Harden. I don't know if you guys ever played in James Harden's, but it reminds me of the Harden's with the herringbone track pattern. Um, it's like herringbone, but it's like something added to it. But it also reminds me of the, the what you call what are those called? The aliens, are those the aliens? The the 380s, yeah, the 380s, the, the aliens, that missile. Then they have the suede on the toe box. I guess that's for comfortability if you're playing basketball, but I guess this one is the lifestyle one. And then uh, they just have some type of, I guess this is like plastic right here with a knit, with a knitted, um, I don't know what you call it, like, yeah, <laughs> it's knitted. Shit, I forgot what that, I'm blinking out. Upper, upper, upper of the shoe. Yeah, come on, Andy. So with a knitted upper and it's backed by like plastic around the area. The heel counter, it's another, I, I, I mess with the, the gray, right? The dark gray and then the silver, that, that looks nice, nice contrast. And then the black up top is kind of like a, I think that is a, mesh and then um same thing with the tongue i really the biggest part about these they remind me of the 700 v3s with this um lacing pattern right here and uh it's, it's pretty unique man it's pretty unique to say the least uh I'll show you guys the other shoe as well you know what i'm saying let you guys know if there's any fuck ups i don't think so but yeah man that's the breakdown of the shoe mesh on the inside and the, and the heel and around the ankle collar. Then they have a knit upper followed by a suede toe box, boost midsole, outsole, eggnog outsole. But yeah, man, 
So let me know what you guys think about this shoe. And for the final verdict, will I be keeping these or, you know, selling them? And how do I feel? Uh, I do feel like this shoe right here is very quality compared to the other Yeezys that have been coming out. 250 price range is not bad. So those are my final thoughts. Good quality. Um, fit on these, I had tried them on. It's a little narrow, but you know, you could go true to size on these, I believe. Um, I'm a, like I said, I'm an eight and a half, nine. So these fit pretty good. A little bit of space, but I like my shoes a little bit of space. So if you do, but it's pretty narrow up top. But if you have narrow feet and you know, you want to go down half side, you can do that. But I recommend going true to size and as you know, it's pretty narrow up top. But yeah, man. So final verdicts, like I said, quality is great. You know, um, I think it's a good concept. Unfortunately, it's not the gray pair. I think the gray colorway was a lot better, the OG colorway, but these are very calm. Um, personally, I wouldn't be rocking them. So I'll just have them sitting on ice. I don't know, then I'll just be like looking at them like, should I wear them, should I not? But you know, I'm not a huge Yeezy person anymore. But I do see these doing pretty well because they look like the, the mid top to high top V3s of the 700s. So man, yeah, without further ado, that's the end of this video. Comment down below you guys thoughts and let me know what you guys think about this shoe, man. And if anybody's a size nine and wants them, um, feel free to DM me. My Instagram is down below along with my sneaker page. So just feel free to DM me and you know, maybe we could work something out. If not, they'll just be sitting in the back with all my other shoes. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what else you guys wanna see and make sure you stay safe and stay swaggy.